Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is the second video where we're building a Express and Postgres API. So in the first video, we set up everything with next and objection um, to create to create our model. So we created a, cat, a cats model, which means I should probably rename this file cats. Rename cats. Okay, so just like any router you would do in Express, I need to import the router from Express. I also need to import my model. So const cat equals require. Okay, equals require um, dot dot slash models slash cat model dot js. So I have the model and I have my router. So now I just have to create a router. Const router equals router. And now I just create all my CRUD routes. Okay, so we have our index route. Okie dokie. <coughs> okay, we have our index route. Um, and what I want to do here is um do, 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 do. what I want to do is create a router dot get you can tell I just woke up slash async rec res and this is just going to return all the cats okay ideal world you want to do this in a try catch block so I'm going to do that Patch error so that we can handle any errors that come that happen. Console.log, or no, not console.log, res.json. And just to be totally proper, status 400.json. And then we pass in the error. Okay. It is an object to be JSONified or stringified. Okay. Then try. What we want to do is we really want to do res.json. Well, res.status200. We want to send a successful status. Dot JSON. And then what we want is to uh, await cats. Mm, cat dot all. And that should get all the cats. Cool. So there's the index route. I'll just kind of copy the structure. So I don't three write that try catch block over and over again. Okay, next is our show route if we want to get one individual cat. So you'd pass in the ID. Okay. And that would be cat.sum, because that was the function we created to find some cats. So that would be ID rec.params.id. And that would be, yeah, that's pretty much that. Okay, then we want to create some cats. Okay, and that's going to be cat.create was the name of the function. Okay, and then that we just pass in the rec.body. Okay. And that should be a post request. And that should be the just slash. I'll start with this. Okay, and then this is our update route. Okay, we need the ID. So let's see here. And let me actually, that I'm going to want to take a look at my controller. So let's take a look at our cat model. The update function takes the ID and the info. So we're going to pass in the ID and then the info that takes two arguments. And again, you can design those functions differently there. Um, ID ID Okay, so this is going to be a put request and it's going to be cat.update and we need to pass in the ID as the first argument so that would be rec.params.id 
And then the second argument is the new cat, which would be rec.body. Or the updated cat, okay. And then we do the delete route, and then we have a full CRUD API. Okay, delete. And that's gonna be cat.delete. Rec.params.id. We don't need a body here. We're just saying which one to delete. Um, and yeah, that should basically be full CRUD. So then we module.exports the router. Okay, the router is exported. So I just need to go bring that into my server.js. So I will bring it in here. Const cat router equals require dot dot slash actually it would be in the same folder dot slash controllers slash cats and then we're going to go to our routes and i really don't care about all these routes but i'll just add this here so app dot use we'll say the end endpoint is cat And anytime someone types in a URL with a URL cat, it will use the cat router. Cool. So our API should be up and going. Okay, so we should be in good shape. So I'm gonna do a git. Well, let's just do an npm run dev. That's gonna run the server. Okay, so let's take a look what we got here. Localhost test test test. Okay, so it is connecting that I should get rid of that console log, but not a big deal. Okay. So let's open up Postman. Oh, good. I do have Postman open. So let's do this. 3,000. First, let's try to get the cats. Which, there should be no cats. Well, actually, there should be four cats. So I should be able to get the four cats. Yep, there they are. ID, test cat one, test cat three. Then let's try to add a cat. So all I have to do is add the name and age. So name, snuffles. age five okay let's try that snuffles has been added id five perfect let's try to get this make sure that snuffles has been added and there's snuffles okay let's update snuffles so i'm gonna do slash five the id make this a put request okay actually we'll do the, the try the show request first see if we can get snuffles by himself there's snuffles now we're going to try to update Snuffles and say Snuffles is Snuffles the second. Um, and so we do put, we put the ID in the URL, Snuffles. Oh, there something went wrong. So let's think about that for a second. Localhost cat slash ID. <coughs> okay. Five. The ID is five, and it seems to get ID. So let me go back and take a look at our update route. Uh, nope, that's in the controller. Cat, cats, update route slash ID. Yep, rec dot params that ID. Yes. Okie dokie. So I mean, that looks as I would expect it so in that case maybe it's the the, mo the underlying model function that I have so ID yeah so where ID should match that update info Well, first let's test that ID. I mean, delete. Is delete working? Let's see here. If we delete error, cannot delete cat five. Oh, okay. So that means I need to fix the controller. Control, controller, delete. Didn't I make it a put request? Oh, it's delete request. Oh, I never changed it from a put to a delete. That would be an issue. Okay, so let's try that again. 
error. Okay, so these two are erroring. Let's try to figure out why. Okay, dot delete. Okay, and we try to get some. Where query? Where ID equals ID. So over here, we're passing in the query. When we do cats.sum, we pass in an ID. Let me see how we did that over here. Because that worked. Post cat. Here we go. Sum. Pass in ID, an object with the ID. Now here, it doesn't want to do that. I called it ID. Okay, but well we got the API for the most part working. That I have to do some investigation. So let me pause this for a moment. Okay, just to update you on troubleshooting. Okay, so I have determined that it's something to do with the actual update and delete functions. Okay, um, again, the other three routes work just fine. Um, update and delete are currently giving me some little trouble, but just to kind of speed things up, because at the end of the day, most of these endpoints are working, and you're going to want to know how to deploy this. So I'm going to move on to deployment in the third video, but I will go back and fix the template so that way by the time you use this, you see this video and you see this template, that sort of sampler set up, that sort of sample file with all the pre-made routes or and the pre-made functions will be 100% up and running. Okay, so let in the meantime, let's save this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to kill the server. And I'm going to create a git repo, git in it, git add dot git commit dash m first commit Okay, git push. Well, we actually need to connect a repo. So let's head over to GitHub. And actually, I'll do this in the third video. So we'll get started on deploying in the final video.